everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle. Today I'm gonna to be making bone broth, so I decided to take you along with me and show you how I make it. I have a very simple recipe. I make it in my Instant Pot. It can be made in a slow cooker or even on the stove top, but it does take a lot more time. If you wanna do that, it's fine, but I like to make mine in the Instant Pot because it is quicker. It only takes a couple of hours. My bones are already roasting in the oven. I roast them first. I have a little footage that I will play after this clip that shows how I prepare them and get them in the oven for roasting. As soon as they're roasted, I will pull them out, get them in, in the Instant Pot and show you how I finish it off. Bone broth is very nutritious. It is very good for you. And I use mine a lot in my soups. I like to use mine in my chili that I make. It really gives it a delicious beefy flavor. And I also just like to sip on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the footage and then I will see you as soon as they are done roasting. So I have a baking sheet here. I have my oven preheating right now to 425 degrees. So I have three soup bones here that are about like this that we purchased when we bought half of a cow. These do have some meat on them. The meat, once it has cooked for a really long time, really doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. Meat that comes off and after we strain the broth and everything, I'll just give the shredded beef to my dog. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up and get them on the baking sheet and I'm going to roast them in the oven first. You don't have to roast them in the oven, but roasting them in the oven really does give the broth a lot more flavor. I thought there were three soup bones here, but I actually have six because it looks like they put two to a package. So that's even better. I'm gonna be making this broth today in my Instant Pot. I like to make the broth in there because it cooks up a lot faster. You can also do this in a slow cooker, but it can take 24 hours or more, which is fine if you wanna do that but I really like making it in the Instant Pot because I like it to be a lot faster. This one here looks like this is only one bone, so I have five bones here. And I'm going to wipe my hands. I only use three ingredients in my broth, and that is the bones, salt, and water. And I figure if I wanna use it for soup or something else, I can always add onions, garlic, whatever. But my broth is just basically the three ingredients. I'm gonna be using Redmond's Real Salt. Look at how pretty that salt is, all those beautiful minerals in there. So I'm gonna salt these pretty good because I like my broth to have a salty taste to it. I'll flip them over and salt the other side. And I'm gonna have to use my other hand to do the salting because I just touched the meat. I wanna contaminate my salt container. Okay, so I am going to get these in the oven at 425. I'm gonna let them roast for about 20 to 25 minutes and then I'm gonna take them out and then I will show you the next step. So these roasted in the oven for 25 minutes. This one here actually has quite a bit of meat on it. I don't know why they didn't trim all of that beef off, but it'll definitely give my broth a lot of flavor. I have the insert right here to my Instant Pot, and I am going to get all of these bones into the Instant Pot and just pile them up. You can see right here that the Instant Pot is quite full. So I am going to fill this with water to the fill line and I'm gonna go ahead and get it set on the Instant Pot. So I have filled this with water and placed the lid on. So we're gonna pressure cook this for, this was set to 40 minutes. We're gonna put this for two hours. So I have set this on two hours and I'm just gonna let it be until two hours is up and then I will show you the next step. So I just released the vent on my Instant Pot. It has been actually over two hours. It's been two hours and 55 minutes that this has been sitting in here. And so I'm gonna open it here. Okay, there is the lovely broth. Look at that, it looks so good. 
I'm gonna let this cool down for a few minutes and then I am going to strain it. So I will be right back. A large mason jar here. It's better if you can get a wide mouth, but we're gonna be using a small mouth today. And I have a nut bag and I only use this for broth. I don't use this for almond milk. So I recommend if you end up using a nut bag, to use it only for broth because if you're straining almond milk, you don't want to have a broth flavor in your almond milk. So I'm gonna just put this down into the jar. If my husband were here and I had another set of hands, I would have him hold this big strainer over the jar and do it that way. But since I just got two hands right now, I'm gonna be using my nut bag. And I am going to put this funnel on here and I'm going to start pouring this broth in. I'll raise you up a little bit here. Okay, let's start slowly pouring this broth in. Like I got a little overzealous. All right, I'm gonna pull this out of here. I am gonna use a warm dishcloth and wipe down my jar. By the way, you wanna make sure that your jar is really clean on the inside when you are getting ready to pour this broth in. You just want it to be very, very clean. I just wash mine in hot soapy water. I think I'm gonna have enough for a smaller jar. So I'm just gonna put this lid on, put it over to the side. Go ahead and pour the rest of this into a Pyrex measuring cup because I'm not sure how much more I'm gonna get. Okay, let's see how much we've got here. Okay, so I've got another two cups here. So I have a pint jar here and I'm just gonna pour the rest of this into this jar. And there you have it. I have this beautiful golden beef bone broth. And I have here in this pot some bones and some beef. I'm gonna go in here and pull out the beef after it cools and shred it up and put it into a container. And then I'm just going to give it to my dog. I just tried a little taste of this. Since this is pressure cooked for a couple of hours, the beef really does lose a lot of the flavor but my dog still loves it. So I'm gonna go ahead and shred that up for her. Store this in the refrigerator and after it completely cools off, there will be a layer of fat that will solidify on the top of this. What you can do is if you don't want the fat to be part of your soup or whatever you're gonna use, you can take the handle of like a wooden spoon and poke it into the fat and sort of break it up on top and fish it out and then you can store that fat in a container and it will be like beef tallow. You can actually use that fat to saute stuff with on the stovetop, just like you would bacon grease. And it is really, really good. So that is how I make my beef bone broth. It is not hard to make at all. I have a cup here that I'm gonna try out. It's still pretty hot. It's so savory and so good. That is all I have for you today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video because it helps my channel grow. I am just over 8,000 subscribers now, so I'm really excited about that. Thanks for watching. I will see you very soon. Have a great day and God bless.